Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Today I'd like to discuss with you the most commonly used function in all of Excel. A function is simply a pre-written formula that saves me a lot of typing. I can uh, include a function with the click of a mouse, as we'll see. Remember, this particular demonstration is aimed uh, very much at uh, beginners to Excel, uh, those people who are perhaps learning Excel and uh, want to know how to use functions. So the function I'll be using is AutoSum, the most commonly used function in all of Excel. And I'm going to use it from within the Formulas tab up here. The AutoSum button does appear elsewhere in the ribbon. It's at the far end of the, uh, of the Home tab, but I'll be using the one in the, in the Formulas tab. The way it works, quite simply, is this. I click in a cell in which I want the answer, and then when I click the AutoSum button, Excel looks up the column, and it surrounds its guess when it finds two or more cells with numbers in them, and says, are these the cells that you want to add? And it surrounds its guess with a scrolling marquee. Some people call them marching ants, but it's uh, correctly called a scrolling marquee. If I'm happy with this guess, I'm going to hold down the control key and press the enter key. And when I do that, it, it, uh, it remains within the same cell. If I had not held down the control key, then the, um, uh, the active cell would have moved, moved down one. But control key, enter, stay in the same cell. Now, what I'm going to do here is to delete one of the numbers thus, Windows slows down sometimes, and I see that the answer has um, uh, changed down here from 63 to 51. Now I'm just going to delete what's in there, and I'm going to this time, click on the Auto Sum button, and I will see that Excel stops its guess at the first empty cell that it finds in the column. What I need to do is to override its guess by holding down the Control key and dragging down through the cells that I do want to include in the in the answer. Now, when I hold uh, uh, down control and enter it shows me still 51,000 but what I can do now is to add that 12,000 back if I wish and there it shows me the right answer because I have said to Excel add up the numbers from B3 to B5 and also B6 to B8 and I did that by holding down the control key the control key incidentally lets me select non-adjacent cells, uh, more correctly called non-contiguous cells. With my answer here in cell B9, I'm now going to point my mouse at the autofill button and I see the mouse cursor changes to a crosshair, hold down the left mouse button, drag across and it automatically fills the uh, formulas for me. What if I want to add these numbers across? I want the total of those numbers in this cell. There are no numbers above, so what Excel does, it looks to the left and it says, are there two or more numbers that I can add, two or more cells with numbers in them that I can add? If there are, control enter, surrounded its guess, I'm happy with its guess, and there it is. Now what I can do quite simply is to simply autofill down as I did across that way and uh, Excel automatically completes for me the answers uh, in those cells. Let's fill in this cell here. Auto sum. Yep, guess correctly. Control enter. There are the total sales for that particular uh, spreadsheet matrix. Just watch what I do here now, folks. I'm going to delete what's in there, and with my control key held down, I want to do everything at the one time. I'll press the delete key, and I'm going to reselect those cells. Control key, those cells, and that one. I don't want to worry about the uh, uh, 
uh, blank cells here. Now if I click the Auto Sum button, having said that's where I want the answers, it automatically fills them in for me. So I've saved quite a bit of time there. If I know where I want the answers, select the cells and press the Auto Sum button. Bear in mind that it will stop at empty cells. And in fact, it will also stop at cells that have text in them. So you uh, may need to remove the text or uh, uh, use your control key to uh, select around the text, those cells around the text. I just want to take this demonstration a step further, not for training purposes in this case, but to show you how I can embed a um, sum function within an if statement. And uh, let's suppose that I was a sales manager and I wanted to create a message, perhaps for presentation to sales staff. So I'm going to say here equals if. Now if is the second most used um, function outside of sum. And I'm going to say if the sum of G3 down to G8 is greater than 300,000 then show me sales exceeded forecast close the double quotes because it's text comma sales did not reach forecast so let's see what happened there um, and when I press uh, control enter sales exceeded forecast excellent so I know that um, I can use the sum function up here it's embedded with an if statement and uh, that can be very very handy too perhaps for uh, management uh, to make uh, decisions upon. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, uh, the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, particularly if you're a beginner at Excel. Uh, don't forget to have a look at all of the uh, other Excel formulas in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the playlist that you'll see on the home page uh, of uh, United Computers. Um, subscribe, we'd love to have you as, as a subscriber. Uh, make a comment if you wish and a thumbs up will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching folks.